Hey, kids. It's your old pal Johnny Vegas here. And I'm going to teach you how to be a KWBU DJ. The whole process starts here, where you fill out the DJ log. This is KWBU's daily transmitter log. We use this in case somebody screws up. That way we know who to blame. You start off by putting the time your shift starts in the time on duty box. Next, you put in your name under operator signature. And finally, you put in t the time your shift is over. If you're DJing when it gets dark, you're going to need to check the tower lights and fill out the log at the bottom, or Megan's going to yell at you a lot. Next, you're going to fill out the power output and carrier frequency boxes. I'll show you how to do those now. To check the power output, be sure the number 4 button is depressed. Then read these red numbers. They're digital, so it makes it easy. Then, to check the carrier frequency, read this dial right here. If you have to check the tower lights, press down number 5. The numbers will jump around all crazy-like. That means the lights are working. This is the KWBU mixing board. Be sure you or your partner are wearing your headphones while you're on the air. Hey, how do I get on the air? It's simple, friend. Each input is clearly marked. Mic 1, Mic 2, Minidisc, Cart, CD1, CD2, Phono, Dell, News, Remotes, and Automat. Each input also has an on and off switch to, to determine whether you're on the air or not. The fader bars are important in adjusting your levels. You don't want these needles to go into the red. To hear music in the studio before you play it over the air, put your fader bar in the cue position. Be sure to take it off cue when you go on the air. This monitor keeps you up to date with current weather conditions, which are always good for discussing on the air. This is the Dell computer, which you'll use to play MP3 files over the air. To play an MP3 file, press the flying windows and E button simultaneously. Then, double click on KWBU. This will bring up directories for ads, beds, music, playlists, PSAs, and sweepers. To play a song, double click on the music folder. This gives you different folder options for different kinds of music, such as classical, college mix, jazz, or mainstream. Songs are alphabetically organized into folders. Gosh, I really want to hear the Beastie Boys. I'd go to V. Oh, there they are. Simply select the song you want to hear, click it, and drag it over into the Winamp playlist. You're ready to go. To remove a song from the playlist, simply highlight the song you want to remove and press delete on the keyboard. Remember to not let just anyone in the studio. There's some dangerous characters out there. They don't let him out much. Now I'm going to show you how to play a CD. These are the drawers that the CDs are kept in. The top drawer is organized by different colored dots, which I'll tell you about later. The rest of the drawers are organized by number. Their numbers are listed on the left-hand side. Let's pick a CD. This looks like a winner. These are the two CD players you'll be using to play a disc. CD1's on top, two's on bottom. To play a CD, open the drawer, put your disc in and close the drawer. Select which song you're going to play, press program, the number of the song, then play, and then play again real quick to pause the CD. Now it's queued, so all you'll have to do is press the on button for CD1, and the player will start playing automatically. Be sure and bring your fader bar up to the appropriate levels. Now I'm going to teach you how to select which songs to play off a of CD. The music director and his staff create these labels for each disc. At the top, it tells the track numbers and songs which are appropriate for airplay. The length of the songs are at the end. What kind of song it is, whether it's medium tempo, up tempo, or down tempo. 
and how many seconds into the song lyrics begin. At the bottom of the CD is, a, is an explanation or review of the music. You can't just go hog wild while you're on the air and play whatever you want. There's rules you gotta follow and things you gotta play. Be sure to play at least two PSAs every hour. PSAs are public service announcements. They're found in the PSA folder on the computer. You play those at 25 after and 10 till. You're also supposed to play four sweepers every hour. Sweepers are found in the sweeper folder on the computer. When it comes to playing the dotted CDs, you're required to play two reds, six blacks, and ten blues every shift. This next part's very, very important. If you screw this one up, Megan will eat you up one side and down the other. At the top of every hour, be sure and play the legal ID. It's located in the legal ID folder on the computer. If you don't, the FCC, we call him the man, can find us big time. And it's coming out of your pocket if you didn't do it. Well, I guess that's about it. Oh, wait! The air check machine. Let me show you how to run this baby real quick. <laughs> First, you press eject and insert your tape. Then, flip this switch to the on position and turn the tape deck on here. Next, you'll want to hit record and play at the same time. This is now queued up to start recording whenever you turn your microphones on. Important info will be on this board, so read this board every shift. When you raise the exciter and turn the station on, you'll notice the power output will go up to somewhere between 1.35 and 1.57. When you lower the exciter, you'll notice the power output goes down to 0 0.02. This means the station is off. Dave's your grad student. He gets paid to help, right Dave? Oh yeah. Well, I guess that's about it. If you screw up, you're on your own. Wait, I almost forgot. You're gonna need a DJ name. I've got my new DJ name. I'm gonna be the spider. <laughs> I'm the spider. 